Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss about the STM profile, and how to do this calculation, and what are the uses of this using custom tools in the Visual Studio. So first, what you need to do is we need to perform a geometry optimization of a material, whatever you are using. Suppose I have taken this graph and that is over here and give the proper input for the uh, calculation for the geometry optimization and if you don't know how to do a geometry optimization I will put the video link in the description just go through that video uh, the knowing how to do a geometry optimization for a system and the properties menu what you need to select is uh, like band structure density of state and electron localization function if you whatever you want you can select but for stm profile what specific thing you need to do is click on the orbitals fine once you have clicked here then click on the run once this is done the geometry optimization is done what you have to do is go to the get step tool open the analysis and in analysis go down and select on the stm profile in the STM profile, what STM profile will give you? STM profile will give you the, you know, the ISO surface of electron density of your material just above the Fermi level. Okay. So, first you need to click on the uh, STM bias. The positive bias will give you the empty uh, or the conduction band of your system. And if it is negative bias, it will give you the, your field, like the balance end of your system. Click on the view surface and click on the import. Once you have clicked, this will give you the ISO surface of your or the electron density of your system. And this you can see. Once, one more thing, you make sure that in the z-axis we have taken some of the, you know, uh, parameters. Go to the display style before uh, importing this. Make sure that in the lattice, this uh, coordinate, we have taken some of the you know values over here, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, whatever, because that ISO surface is in the direction G direction, right? So you need to have some value over here. If it is zero, then you cannot see this, right? It is in the G direction, and you can change this color of this. No problem. You can select from here and you can change the color. And you can map this surface using positive and negative STM profile. If you want to see the negative, click here. This is the negative STM profile. I told you what is the negative STM profile. Negative STM profile is the valence band, right? So this is the valence band of your system. And if you want to see the negative prof uh, positive profile, so this is the positive profile, which is the conduction band of your system. So in the uh, uh, negative case, whatever you are seeing, So, in the, by this way, you can get the uh, STM profile for your nano material or whatever material you are using. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video on the content, please subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching.